Okay, everything is dried and I have my birdies and nests. Um, yeah, this has changed. <laughs> it's changed the whole thing. Uh, I was going in one direction and then these little birds, they just kind of seemed to fit and so I just decided to switch it all up. And as you can see, that, uh, oh, that coral color and that purple, I mean, you know, where are they? <laughs> That's what happens. So when you're putting things down, just keep in mind that a lot of it's going to be covered up and don't put maybe like your just most precious prized whatever's down first. Because um, this, this is part of the process. Okay, now what I'm going to do, moving on, um, is I just want to age this. And so I'm going to just put some Distress Ink and I'm going to just kind of yeah, I don't know how much I want. This is, this whole thing is new to me. I had no idea that I was going to go in the bird direction when I first started this. I think when I first started, I was kind of, you know, maybe go for the steampunk. Because I haven't done that in a while. Okay, now look at the difference. Isn't that pretty? It just gives it another layer. It just adds a little something. So we're going to continue. I'll turn it upside down. And we will just... And honestly, what is the right side for it now? I've done enough putting things in random spots that I feel confident that it's going to make a really nice background. Okay. Ooh. Kind of liking this, you guys. Okay. I think I'm going to call that good for the distress. All right, now what I'm thinking about doing um, is to take this to my sewing machine and stitch. I have a variegated cream to brown thread in there that I've been stitching uh, my needlebook together with that I'm loving and while I've got it out I may go ahead and do some randing randing <laughs> all those randing people random stitching while I've got it just to add another layer you know layer 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 be back all right stitching done um, I'm turning it on the back here so you can see what I have done. And again, this was a variegated brown, cream to brown. So this just adds another element. This is cool. I like it. Um, let's see. I think that I'm probably just about ready to go ahead and cut these apart and then we will individually add little bits here and there um, and finish this up. So I'm going to go ahead and call this the end to the first video on making these ATC cards. This has been fun. I hope you like what I've created and I hope that you're working along and and get your own master board um, finished up so in the next video we can continue to work and frou-frou them up a little bit. All right. 
Until next time, guys, have a fabulous day. Bye now. Hi, guys. Rhonda without an H here. Okay. Video two, what we are doing is we are going to cut this masterboard up into ATC size cards that will then continue to embellish and, and make into some beautiful ATCs. Okay, so two and a half inches by three and a half inches is a standard ATC card. My ruler is three and a half inches wide. So if I lay it on top here, then I can get an idea of what I'd be looking at. And I can get three down with extra. And let's see, two and a half would be here. So if I kind of eyeball that, that, all right. I'm just looking to see where my birds lie underneath. Ah, uh, I don't know. You know what? Let's do something brave. I'm just going to twirl this around a little bit so I don't remember what's what on the front. Let's just do it. What do you think? I can be brave. I can be spontaneous. <laughs> okay. Ah, first cut. Not even going to look. Not even going to look at what I'm going to do in there. And we'll do another cut of three and a half inches. Okay, that did not cut through. What? All right, let's give this another little bit of a... Okay. Three and a half. Now, let's measure this. That's five... Or just, oh, just a smidgen, smidgen. You know what? I could, if I did two and two and two, that would be two, four, six. Uh, two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eh, blah, 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 a bunch. Oh, because if I don't do it, then I'm going to have this extra that's just going to sit there. You know what? I'm going to do it, you guys. You talked me into it. You're teaching me to be brave. All right. I'm going to be brave. I can do this. Oh, I hope these are going to be okay. <laughs> okay. The die is cast. It's too late. Now these are what they are. So what I'm going to do is line this up. Well, let's just go ahead and use this at the three and a half inch mark. And we will cut them individually. Trim off a little bit of that stitching that I did. Okay. <laughs> this is brave. And if you don't feel that you want to be that brave, that's okay. You don't have to. And I may be very sorry that I was. No, I'm sure I can. I'm sure that I will have fun figuring this all out. All right. Now we have these two little pieces of leftover fun, fun stuff. All right, so we've got those. Before we turn them over and look at them, <laughs> let's go ahead. I'm going to load these on top of each other and straighten that up. And then we will do switch rulers. And now we'll do the two and a half inch right here. Gonna stand up to give it good pressure. 
All right, there's two. I'm a little excited to see what they turned out like. Sorry about that, you guys. I ran out of recording space. <laughs> so uh, I wasn't able to show you the, you know, turn them over, get them all cut up and turn them over. But uh, here we go. Um, I'm, I'm not like, wow, bowled over by this on the back side kind of thing. It was fun to try it, but I think another time I will, you know, cheat or yeah, it's not cheating. Actually, I will go ahead and cut them from the front to try to get the best use of the birds. But in some respects, it may have been a good experience because it allowed me to cut them in a way where most of them, you only see little bits of bird parts. And so they really are background. Uh, whereas this looks, you know, this is a little more front and center. And there are, you know, a few of these, but most of them are not, as you'll see. I got 14 and I want to show you this, the difference between just using a simple little corner rounder, and it's up to you, of course, uh, the one, you know, you can see w which you like the best. I like the rounded corners. I think it gives it a nice, nice edge, and it makes it easier to put it in the plastic sleeves, but both are perfectly fine. So... Let's just go through these real quickly. And you can see, you know, you have a lot of, a lot of bits and pieces. And it's cool. I mean, I'm loving the texture. This is feeling really cool. And that has no birdies. I mean, you wouldn't even know, but isn't that cool still? These are going to, these are making very cool backgrounds. Very, very cool. And I have a total of 14 of them. So, what I thought I would do, I pulled out some of my, I've got a bunch of little bird pictures that I've taken from magazines, books, and also images off Pinterest. Um, I don't believe I have a digital download yet <laughs> of birds. I've got some, these are sparkly uh, stickers. I don't know if I want to add butterflies or not, but I have some butterflies if I want to add. And I also have these, uh-oh, that Tim Holtz. Again, some butterflies and flowers. I don't think there are birds in here. I was just going to glance. Okay, I don't think. So I'm also going to add some fabrics. And most likely a little bit of cheesecloth or a gauze. So pull out your supplies, get them together, get the images that you think you might want to use. Um, you know, this whole thing may be covered up. You, of course, don't have to use anything specific. You know, these are just, this is just fun stuff now. This is just playtime. Time to play. And just, we're just going to play. Yeah. So gather your stuff. I'm going to finish gathering my things. Cheesecloth, a little bit of lace um, or doily bits, and a few more vintage papers and maybe some, uh, some uh, stamps. I may want to do a little bit of stamping. So, finish gathering your supplies. I'll finish gathering my supplies. And we will start in just a minute. 
Okie doke, I now have officially got a huge mess on my desk again. <laughs> okay, so what I have been doing off camera to save a little bit of time, I have gone ahead and corner rounded all of my ATC cards and I have been adding another element this deli paper that I had and showed you earlier I ripped it into strips and I have been stamping with and I, I don't remember where I got them but I had these two a number set and an alphabet that were kinda cool and then I added bits of this postal um, stamp as well okay so I have three more to do I just wanted to uh, work a little bit ahead so that the video isn't quite so long and I have also stamped I don't know if I'll use it or not but you know when you get working on these projects you think you're using up your bits and pieces but you're actually creating <laughs> You're creating bits and pieces, aren't you? Mm -hmm. All right, so I've just been using a glue stick. And as you can see, <laughs> I've been stamping. All right, so let's just continue. I put a good amount. I want to make sure that it is adhering. <laughs> and this one wants to just curl up. And we'll just undo that there. And we're just, you know, we're just putting it on. And now I'm going to just kind of burnish that a bit with my bone folder. Or you can use, you know, you can use an edge of your scissors or, you know, many flat edges, a ruler or something to do that. All right. Let's see, here's another piece. We're just continuing on. It turned out to be an absolutely gorgeous day today. I wasn't expecting that actually. It was just a really nice surprise. I want to get that so you can see it. And I'm just there again just gluing and burnishing just gives another additional layer I mean, it's just amazing isn't it you just you can't just get the look by just once over you have to be willing to put a little bit of time and effort into it to give it that overall look if if that's what you're going for and I haven't done this in a really long time so this is really it's been fun okay <laughs> getting that up off there however all right I'll just slap that over there and we will glue that all down and burnish that and of course you can go off your edges and that's okay or you can fold them to the back when I'm done I will put uh, another piece of paper that has the ATC card holder um, information you can get a lot of those there's some free printables on Pinterest if you're interested in checking that out just type in ATC cards backs I can't remember exactly well, it looks like I had another one here sort of in the wings so we'll go ahead and do that one as well um, ba -ba 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 -ba. so I need a couple more pieces this looks fine that will work I've got my fan on overhead and sometimes it blows away <laughs> the things I'm working on so it's 
not always advantageous. Oh, which one was I going to put this on? I think I was going to do it here. Alrighty. I'll burnish that down. And there again, you know, that I'll go ahead and trim that up when when it's completely dry. I'm getting a kind of messy hands. One more. Let's see. How does that look? All right, I like it. I like it. She said. Okay. We're just, well, let's just put that here. Let's just put that right there. As you can see, guys, I'm not being too terribly particular. Um, I keep rags. These are washcloths. Cheap washcloths that have seen better days. They're not used anymore for regular washing, so I wash them up and bring them in my studio, and when they're clean, they look filthy, but they're clean, but this is getting dirty. <laughs> All right, so now let's take a peek. Let me move. And this was a type page from an old a type manual typewriter when that used to actually be a course and I have stamped all over the back with uh, brown and with black and that I wondered if I was going to rip up and use but I actually didn't so doing good got a little bit on everything And you'll have your favorites, you know, as as you're designing, and that's cool. Um, so some elements will be the very same with all 14, but then when I get closer to getting done, that's when I will bring in some additional uh, images or elements that will make them individual. So they'll be similar but just a teeny bit different okay now let's see what we want to do next I've pulled out as I said a bunch of things I have this fabric look at this you guys those are little footprints in the sand <laughs> I was working on a beach quilt many years ago and um, it's still not done. <laughs> I had all the fabrics at one point, but through the years I've kind of cheated and used some of the fabrics for this or that, so I don't know. Anyway, so what I have to decide now, and this is where you've got to help me figure these things out. This is kind of the process again of hmm hmm do we don't we will we won't we you know how do we want to go about this kind of dilly and I've also got cheesecloth elements and I've got some laces that I can use to bring a little more texture in here um, and I could put a little bow I could put a, a flat kind of button um, I don't want to go too 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 crazy oh, that's too white let's see let's just pull a little bit of that's sorry ribbon I have a lot of that we could do something like this, and we could do something like that. Let 
Oh, come on. Just kind of play around a little bit there. And maybe some... Let's rip us, and when I say rip us, I mean cut in a ripping way so that when you get it finished, it's like, oh, what were you thinking? Okay, well, number one, this is too, too wide. Not too wide, too long. Now, I think I like a smaller piece than that. Let's kind of go opposite of that. It doesn't have to be totally opposite, but a little bit. And let's throw some of this in there for added texture. That's, that's a pretty good element. Now, what I'm missing is, is, I want to keep that intact. I'll just set this over to the side. And let's, I also have, remember this? <laughs> remember this? A little, I have a tiny bit of lace. <laughs> just a tiny bit, you guys. Let's see. So we could do one or two, and I'm there again. I'm not worried about it going over. Okay. So we could do this, and then uh, switch that around. I think. I don't know. This is the part where we have to think about this. And I'm liking this, but that now that's not quite right. You know what this needs. It needs a little bit of freeing up. Much, much better. See? You just never know. It's just those tiny little details. Small little details that make a big impact. And when I scrunch these up, I just kind of do the two in and sort of mix it in together and just kind of, I don't know, scrunch it. So let's pretend that's there. And then we're going to do this and we're going to going to do this. Okay. So then what it's lacking is my my focal point. My focal. So I need to put an image. I need to do a butterfly. I need to do a bird. I need to do a button. And then I'm thinking some words would be nice to add to it. Let's let's take a peek see. Now these are some washi tape birds that I put on paper. I had an extra that I can cut out. Um, <laughs> let's anchor that for just a minute. And let's just you know, let's see what we think. This may totally be not what we want to do. But we don't know. It might be. Fussy cutting is not my favorite thing to do. I need to remember when at the end of the day and kind of done working and whatnot that and hubby and I just sort of relax and maybe watch a little bit of TV or watch the news or something. Ah. 
that I could be fussy cutting. I could do something like that. Okay. That's kind of nice, but it's not like perfectly amazing to me. And on this particular kind of a thing, I wouldn't be gluing everything flat. I would be gluing in certain spots, but then I would leave some of it loose so that it, it's, the texture is raised up a little bit. So this is, I don't think that's going to be my chosen, and, and maybe I'm just going in the wrong direction uh, fabric-wise. Maybe this is just too, just too, too plain. And this is just, you know, this is what we do, guys. Maybe this would be better, bring in little bit of color and maybe that's too too pale too pale let's do something oh <laughs> I have to show you this look at my crows I think that's I I maybe haven't I think that's all I have left I found this crow fabric years ago and I've used it in several projects but is she just adorable? <laughs> All right. Back to it. Let's see. Maybe something of this nature. Oh. Well, let's give it a try. There's a... Nice little scrap for my scrap bin to be created into fabric at some point. Maybe. <laughs> oh, I've got so many ideas and then you guys give me great ideas for videos to do too. And there's just, there's just not enough hours in a day to do it all. It's kind of sad. I can honestly say during this isolation COVID-19 pandemic that the world is experiencing, I feel like the Lord has been very, very good to our family. We are, knock on wood, we are um, healthy. I mean, you know, not not like amazing health, but uh, we haven't contracted anything at this point. And my heart goes out to those of you that have had loved ones that have passed because of this or have had lost your jobs or, you know, all of the different crazy things that have come as a result of all of this. But I have, honestly, I've been so busy. I've been creating in my studio, and I feel like I have you guys as friends, and it just, I don't know. I haven't felt the loneliness and isolation uh, like I thought I would, at least not yet. But we do have, you know, we, we have family here in town and that's wonderful they're just around the corner um okay so let's see would that look better i like that better it's getting better it's not perfect yet but it is getting better what about some of this stuff you just you know, you just never know what you're going to need. I'm kind of liking this now. I'm liking that structure. And then with words up here and the little bird. Maybe I should be doing butterflies. 
Oh, can you just imagine? I'm telling you, the struggle is real for my sanity some days. There are times I'm just like, just get over it. This looks like this is from a some magazine. And this is a meadowlark. That would be kind of cool, wouldn't it? To put that on there. Ooh, I kind of like that. I have found that in my creating, I have to give myself allowances. I have to be okay with changing things up and that if something doesn't work out the way I thought it would that you know it's just all in the learning process and did I have fun working on it did I did I have fun if I did then that's you know that's good every once in a while something will happen and I'll be like wow that's amazing but generally speaking, if you've followed me for a while and you're noticing that I'm doing more of letting you in on my how-to process, you'll realize that this is not, I don't just automatically get it. I have to work at it. I have to work at the creating. I have to work at, you know, trying to make it nice doesn't always come right off the bat. That's cool. I like that. Now here I might just want to do a might want to put oh, but I just keep working with it. See I don't want I don't want the yellow to scream. That's why this loosely woven whatever it is <laughs> it's a part of a doily I think yeah part of a doily um, it's kind of covering that up but it's still giving a little bit of color okay I think that's where I'm gonna stop and I'm going to go ahead and finish this and work on some others finishing those and I may come back and do one or two more with you when I have a great idea of what I'm going to do. It takes me much longer in creating the what and how. Once I've got that down, then it goes fairly quickly. But sometimes that artistic, um, that idea or that method or that whatever takes a bit of time all right I'll be back and then we'll just do I'll show you what I have created and then I would love to see what you have been creating and um, it would be so fun if you put your pictures down below so I could see those too all right I'll be back okay so what I have done is I have gone ahead off camera and created three different sets for you to see examples of these top ones this is the one that I was was playing with when I turned the camera off and as you can see I have added I did a lace and a little bit of paper background and then I added cheesecloth on top of that and then I added a little fabric strip on top of that. And then I added the bird image on top of that. And then I finished off with a bit of lace doily. So, and that's all on top of my background, um, which has been stitched and had the, you know, the layers added like you saw earlier in the first video. So, 
you can just that's what I'm talking about just layer 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 the cool thing about this background and I had no idea how it was going to turn out and I'm actually really glad that the birds got kind of swallowed up so to speak um, because it gives you the opportunity to create lots of different things that that go well with it and I would say that you can use these for a variety um, okay so let me just so here's another one in the set and I have added some uh, from Tim Holtz, you know, the words and such. I've added some words to it. So they all go together, but each is individual. Okay. I love these. These are very cool. Okay. The next set I want to show you totally different these I have taken the little paper dolls the vintage paper dolls from Tim Holtz and his words and phrases and I have created you know these simple very vintagey I, I love I love the looks of these yum 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 so oh and I have put my labels on the back and you can off Pinterest there are lots of free label backs for artist trading cards that you can go and check out and I'm sure that if you look in Etsy and stores and whatnot you could also find some if that you like to buy okay so the last set I'm going to show you and this this again is just to give you examples of what you can do now this one I I brought a little bit of humor into the bird situation and I actually added more bird images um, to this particular one and you just you know this this sweet little kitty and the bird well you know how that goes and I decided to call this set here birdie birdie <laughs> come let's do lunch together let you be the entree <laughs> but uh, these I just thought were really fun and sweet and these are all the same basically these are different in the the other two sets they're all different images but these particular ones I'm exchanging I'm keeping one for myself and then I have two ladies that I exchange with on a monthly basis and uh, they're each going to get one of the other so that we're doing the very same thing that's why these are the same so guys that is it and I still have this many more to embellish and decorate with and make into some fun so you can basically do anything and I don't want to do any more of these yet because I don't know what kind of theme or what kind of uh, you know that I'm going for yet so I'll keep these backgrounds and that part will already be done and I'll just need to do the you know the embellishing part so all right guys I hope that this is giving you some inspiration I hope that you are healthy and happy and creative and until next time have a fabulous day bye now